hey my income you if you subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to house of content ghana subscribe su subscribe you can't come and be going and be coming subscribe subscribe kindly subscribe click on it yes now go to the notification side aha uh -huh. click on that one too now share the content aha uh -huh. now go to the comment section start typing anything you want So guys, um, I'm planning on retiring and this guy says um, he's ready to walk in my shoes. So today I invited him to the studio to come and present here all of the day. So um, today he's going to talk about a story that has been trending on Twitter since morning. Um, let's see how he's going to fare. If he is able to do it, Charlie, the hour of the day, he will take over so that I retire. I'm too old for that. So today's story, we have Relax, the... calm down. Calm down. Mm -hmm. The termination you of... Know, you, you didn't even do introduction. You do introduction. This is the structure of your of the day. Introduction. If you have advert, you do the advert. Main body of the story. Add-ons, explanations, whatnot. You sign out. You didn't do the introduction. I am not the one to do it for you. Start it. My name is Selassie. Mm-hmm. Today's story, we have the termination of appointment. What is of the, the name of the show? Yaw of the day. Do the intro again. Okay. My name is Sanesi. Your name is what? <laughs> My name is Selassie. Calm down. down. Yo, re yo, relax. 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 Okay. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. This will be anything. It be just freestyling of content. Calm down. Breathing. Breathe ah. out. Mm -hmm. Now, do the introduction and go into the story. My name is Selassie and you're welcome to this episode of Year of the Day. Today's story, we have the termination of the appointment of the Managing Director of the Ghana Airport, Airport Companies Limited. Okay. So I'll read the letter that was published today. His Excellency, the President of the Republic, per letter number OPS 127, blah, 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 dated 31st January 2022, <laughs> has directed the appointment, the appointment of Mr. Yao Kwakwa as the managing director of Ghana Airports Company Limited be terminated. In this regard, kindly take the necessary steps to give effect to the directive. I count on your cooperation. Mm -hmm. So yes, the managing director of the Ghana Airports Company has been sacked mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. And it's trending on Twitter. So when you go to the, the trend, when you open the trend, you see that everybody's blaming it on the issue and the back and forth they had with the Magdan group of companies. Okay, so here is a news item from City News. Mm -hmm. They gave a solid breakdown of events and everything because they lifted some of the points that the Ghana Airports Company is using to continue. Listed some of the things that are causing mm -hmm. this man to be sacked. That the man or the head of the Ghana Airports Company Limited had asked that McDonald's suspends operations on the private jet. He you can speak pigeon. Listen, you can speak pigeon, you can speak she, but make sure because we have a lot of English, like people. I mean, if you use the chia, hmm. it be specific to um some group, or we are trying to reach out to everyone, but then you go for make some, you understand. So you don't have to if the English is not coming, hmm. mix it with pigeon, she, and not whichever whatever language you are comfortable with. Me like this. Charlie, I can come and speak Ghana. So if you like, don't understand. That is your business. So let's continue. Okay, so here is the news item from City News as to why McDan was asked to, you know, ban, suspend operations on the private jet. So management of Ghana Airports Company Limited has indefinitely barred McDan Aviation from operating its private jet services as the Terminal 1 of the Kutika International Airport. Mm -hmm. This comes after airport authorities said there have been operational breaches by McDan Aviation following the inauguration of its private jet services last week. We all saw the inauguration where he guided all the big, big people in the country and they went there to have fun in the private jet and all of that. So they are broken down some of the factors why McDan's company had to be suspended. One is that he didn't meet the financial obligations. In this news item, it says that McDan is owing the Ghana Airports Company Limited total of 
four million five hundred and five thousand and thirty four us dollars that's how much he's owing them and he doesn't even have a license to operate he doesn't even have a license to operate the private jet company but he had already gone to inaugurate it and for it to be ready to work and then they say that he has breached some of their things again like security they didn't give he didn't give them enough notice in order to okay. so listen mm. Right now, we can't directly link the sacking of the MD to McDonald's issue. These are speculations on social media, you understand. Mm. So in the course of you presenting, uh, you you have to put yourself in a situation where white people know we talk, say, oh, maybe the thing you they talk, maybe this maybe why they sack the man no be uh, you know they you know get any connection with McDonald's issue. You understand? So you know if you stand here then just put it in like um, you can't just re-echo. If you want to re-echo the sentiment of people on social media, that is fine. But make it known to the people that these are some of the things people are saying about the man. You understand? So if when you go on Twitter, Magdan is trending because people are making inferences that um, it is true that private jet and all those things, uh, he, be at the, he step on some tools. That's why he has been sacked. And people are saying, he said, Magdan... McDan is powerful and all those things. Mm -hmm. So in that case, if there's any lawsuit or anything like that, that you come out yourself for inside, you are just re-echoing people at them as sentiment. You don't just push it yourself like, okay, this thing that you are saying, you know, the sacking of the man is linked to my um McDan, uh McDonald's private jet terminal, you understand? So that is how you try to link the story so that Charlie, if you go carry lawsuits, calm yourself, are you now you go do one? Me, I know you will see my face for the this thing. So that is how you do it. Uh -huh. But so far, so good. Um, you just, I mean, continue, continue. So you don't really have to go through all these things. And this is, this story is specific to Magdan. So this is why Magdan is not operating. Or this is why they say you should shut down. This is different from the man who has been sacked. I mean, it's linked, but you have to separate the stories. You understand? Because this thing is people are just speculating, say this and this and this. So let's tackle the um, um the airport issue first. Then you can say, say, okay, because of the um because of Magdan opening this thing, like the issue Magdan had with the airports, people and all those things, people are saying say Magdan is so powerful that he has made um the man to be sacked. Then you just go and read some of the comments. You understand? So when you are presenting it that way, you no, know, you are just picking up content or what people are seeing and you are putting it out there. You understand? Uh-huh. So this is, that is how you structure your story. Because you can read all these things. People are not interested in, people basically, they just, they are just interested in the pointers. What happened? Why has it been sacked? What was in the letter? What is the way for it? What are people saying about it? Then we are done. That is how, we don't, we don't be BBC, we don't be CNN. We don't do investigative journalism, journalism here or anything. We just present what is trending on social media. You understand? So yeah, and to conclude the story. So okay. So far, five over ten. Okay. So now, with all the news items you said, I went to Twitter mm -hmm. to pick up some of the comments that people have made about the, the sacking of the MD. Mm -hmm. Here is one. He sat for such investment to be put up and later claimed due processes was not followed. Okay. He is MAD. Nice to see him sacked. Okay. Anyways. He's smart. You don't want to see him. No, I don't want to see him smart. Okay. That is one positive thing. Me, I will say it. <laughs> so how do you work without nah this 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 is not important. Mm -hmm. This is one I saw. Very, very interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. So someone says, Prew, Ghana will work again. Touch not my anointed and do my private jet no harm. Okay. So this is a story with the MD of the Ghana Airport Company Limited sat by the president. The letter was issued by the transport minister this morning. Mm -hmm. And even the man is saying that he was not even aware that he has been sacked, mm -hmm. but we have told him that it's time for him to go home. Mm -hmm. So this is the end of today's episode of Yahoo Today. My name is Senasi. Yeah. You say you're you be YouTube once time. So. I should have said it again. You're asking me. <laughs> Come and stand here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh I'll be coaching him and he'll be presenting some of the stories. As I said, I'm too old for this shit. I need to go and enjoy my morning with my wife. So, 
Good luck, guys. If you see his face, watch the video. I'm lying, I'm just you put there, you, you go see you now because you show them Chris YouTube. <laughs> anyway, but yes, you go there around, so you go people go see how more often in the videos. But anyway, because you show them, this has been, I mean, y'all of the day and tutorial video, take it like that.